Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to customize your terminal with Oh My Posh. So first you're going to need the Windows Terminal, um, that's shown here. And if you don't have that, we, you can get that from the Microsoft Store. Um, actually, I, Windows 11 and I think Windows 10 ships with Windows Terminal, but I do recommend the Preview Channel. Not It's very stable, and um, it's also... Uh, comes with newer features that aren't in the default terminal, but in, without the cost of many bugs or issues. So, uh, we'll get Windows Terminal Preview or Terminal Install. And there we go. So let me pin this bar. Alright. So, and then if you want, you can customize things in here, like if you want the default shell as PowerShell or something else, but um, I'm going to change my default terminal application to terminal preview. Um, some other thing you can also change the appearance. Um, like, oh, I like to use that. The, these things, this will, um, all these things you can look through, but this will just change the colors, if you go into profiles, you go into appearance, you change the fonts, which we'll actually be doing for this. Um, but anyway, let's get into Oh My Posh. So, here, if you go to the Oh My Posh website, let's go to the Get Started, Installation, Windows, and let's follow and the instructions to install through WinGet. So, in Windows Terminal, type that copy and paste this command they have. We're just going to be following their guide. Alright, it's installed. If you ever need to update it, and they do release updates like very frequently. I was very surprised to see like every other couple days there's a patch, a minor patch, but still they have, they're actively working on this like every day. Um, so once we get it installed, we'll need to go ahead and get a uh, font, a uh, nerd font, uh, Windows Terminal. I mean, all my posh works with these things called nerd fonts. Oh, and we'll have to run this as uh, administrator terminal and if you are using the latest version of Windows Terminal and have Windows Terminal Preview or just the latest version I believe you can hold down the control key and just click this this little plus here that will okay that did not work wow okay uh, I don't know why that's not working all right so we got our administrator prompt copy this command and it's going to give you this list of these things called nerd fonts, which are just like customized fonts that support icons and special types. So, um, I like this one, Meslo, so let's down this one, or anyone you prefer. And you can view the whole list. They have a, a link somewhere on this page. Oh yeah, they recommend this font. So, so once you get that installed, we'll want to change our terminal to use that. So go to when settings, default. Let's show you default appearance and click Meslo, the first one, save. All right, there we go. Nice little console font supports all my posh. So, next, you should be using PowerShell if you're on Windows, uh, I'm assuming. So, but you can do this, and this will tell you which shell you're using. And then you're going to want to open your, edit your profile. So open this. So I have this. They give you a command here. <clears throat> this is the default. It will just uh, invoke all my posh. But if you want to customize it with a theme, I believe this is the command. So by default, there's the Jane Dubler, Dobler theme that you can go and view a bunch of other themes. I like the Bubbles theme. Um, so if you just change this command to the name of the theme you find in the list of themes somewhere on this page, where is it? Themes. Here's the themes. So yeah, they have a lot of options to choose from. Here's the Bubbles I like. So I'm going to change it to Bubbles and comment this that I had saved from here prior. 
this won't be here already when you open this notepad. This should be blank. And then you'll just paste this in. So, and then you can save this. Close it. And I believe if we close our terminals now, we should, there we go. We got the Oh My Posh theme. Uh, there's a few other things we can do. There's icons, which I believe we can add. Let's see. So yeah, I found the guide. According to this guide, um, I'll put this in the link in the description too. You run this install command for this PowerShell module. Oh, we need to be administrator. Hold on. Alright, let's get those out overlapping. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes to all. Alright, all right, then copy this little line of code and go to notepad profile again, run that command again. This you don't need to be an administrator. Add this that as a separate line. And then restart your terminal. Now, if you do an ls, you'll have icons, which you wouldn't have had before. I could have demonstrated that. Um, as for, like I said, other things you can just uh, 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 adjust the transparency is something that I like to do. Background opacity. Yeah, and you know, it just makes it look a little like more modern. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, subscribe, or tell me if you have any questions. I'll try to help you out. Maybe someone else can help you out. Um, and feel free to give me any ideas for new videos. Thank you.